Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 700 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, a nurse practitioner and midwife, we're the authors of the three-category Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller in health, the Ebola Survival Handbook, and even the designers of the new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, which is a great way to get the whole family together for a fun family game night. Now, a significant factor in the quality of medical care given in a survival situation is the level of cleanliness of the equipment used. You might have heard the terms sterile and also the term clean, but do you have more than a vague idea of what they mean? When it comes down to medical protection, sterility means a complete absence of germs. Sterile technique involves washing your hands with special solutions and the use of sterile instruments, towels, and dressings. When used on a patient, the area immediately around these items is referred to as a sterile field. The sterile field is isolated and closely guarded to prevent contact with anything that would allow microorganisms to invade it. Now, to guarantee the elimination of all organisms, a type of pressure cooker called an autoclave is used for instruments, towels, and other items that can come in contact with the patient. All hospitals, clinics, and medical offices clean their equipment with some form of this device. Now, having a pressure cooker as part of your supplies will allow you to approach the level of sterility required for, let's say, minor surgical procedures. Of course, it may be very difficult to achieve a sterile environment if you're in the field or in an extremely austere scenario. In this case, we may only be able to keep things clean. Clean techniques concentrate on prevention by reducing the number of microorganisms that could be transferred from one person to another by medical instruments or other supplies. Meticulous hand washing with soap and hot water is the cornerstone of a clean field. Now, in most survival settings, this may be as good as it gets, but is that so bad? With regards to wound care, there's very little research that compares clean versus sterile technique. In one study, an experiment was conducted in which one group of patients with traumatic wounds were cleaned with sterile saline solution, while the other group was cleaned with tap water. Amazingly, the infection rate was 5.4% in the tap water group as opposed to 10.3% in this group that used sterile saline. Another study revealed no difference in infection rates in wounds treated in a sterile fashion as opposed to clean technique. Therefore, I usually recommend clean drinkable water for wound care in survival settings. That doesn't mean that you can't use antiseptics, however, if you have them. Now, what's the difference between an antiseptic, a disinfectant, a decontaminant, and an antibiotic? To maintain a clean area, certain chemicals are used called disinfectants. Disinfectants are substances that are applied to non-living objects to destroy microbes. This would include surfaces where you would treat patients or prepare food, for example. An example of a disinfectant would be bleach. Disinfection involves removing bacteria, viruses, and other bugs, and is sometimes considered the same as decontamination. Decontamination, however, also includes the removal of noxious toxins and could pertain to the elimination of chemicals or even radiation. The removal of non-living toxins like radiation from a surface would therefore be decontamination, but it wouldn't be disinfection. Now, while disinfectants kill bacteria and viruses on the surface of non-living tissue, Antiseptics kill microbes on living tissue surfaces. Examples of antiseptics include betadine, chlorhexidine, or hibiclens, iodine, and benzalkonium chloride, BZK. Antibiotics are able to destroy microorganisms that live inside the human body. Now, these include drugs like amoxicillin, doxycycline, metronidazole, and many others. Having disinfectants, antiseptics, and antibiotics will give the medic additional weapons in the arsenal and give them also a head start on keeping it together, even if everything else falls apart. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, very old, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Put together your medical supplies with the help of the lovely Nurse Amy. See her entire line of medical kits and individual items at store.doomandbloom.net.